so hello good evening good afternoon welcome back to our land renewal series lessons with the most dennis and today we're going to look at letters of the alphabet yeah letters of the alphabet and we call them enyuguta in renyankwari we're going to look at the sound system how you pronounce words in renyankwari and renyankwari has 10 main vowel sounds of those 10 five are short vowels that is a a E, O, U. The other five are long vowel sounds. That is A, E, E, O, U. Then we have the three deep songs, which are combinations of the vowels. Where we have I, A, OI. We shall see where they are applied and we will surely learn very well. And the short vowels, we will see how they are applied and how they are pronounced. We have our first vowel as A. In English, we read it as A. But here in Runyankore, it is read as A. If you spell, if you pronounce mat, you hear this one is pronounced as A. So that is how our letter, first vowel, is pronounced. And an example, we have a word like Kuvara. Kuvara. We have this A. Uh, and it means to count. Then we have another letter called A, as in the word berry. A, berry. And it is found in the word kweza. Ku, he, za. And that is to finish. Then we have E as in when you pronounce the word lit so we have the word ku rira kurira and that is to cry we have another vowel o like the way you have the o in door <coughs> and we have the word like kora to do or to work Kukora. Then we have U. 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 Like you say the word Kuria. Kuria. So it is U. So we have a word like Kubara. No, Kubura. Kubura. And it means to get lost. We go to the long vowels, where we have two vowels repeating themselves, and we have a, ah, like the way you hear the word father, father. And here we have a word like kubaga, <coughs> kubaga. If you put only a single a, it is kubaga which means something else. Kubaga is like to construct something, to tie something. Kubaga. If you are building a house, or to formulate something, that is kubaga. But if it is kubaga, kubaga, that is to slaughter. Then we have avana, avana, va, this one, va, na. This is children. Then we have a, like in the word flee. So that is kuteka. Kuteka. Kuteka means kuteka, means to cow, to cook. 
then we have e as in in and that is kuiga ku hi ga that is to hunt then we have o as in when you pronounce the word corner corner so as you have two o's and that's we have the word like kurota kurota that is to dream then we have another word evitoche which means bananas then we have u like in the word stoop stoop u we have a word called kubuza that is to ask kubuza this word ku means to then buza is the one ask so if you want to tell a person that he, don't ask me you will say otambuza Ota mbuza don't ask me if you want to ask you say ni nyenda kubuza i want to ask i want to is written as ni nyenda ni nye nda ku Wu za ninyenda kubuza i want to ask so we go to the deep songs where we have a combination of two vowels we have i whereby we shall see like in height vai tu iwe vi tu iwe vai tu iwe vai tu iwe but as long as you proceed learning and pronouncing you'll find you're writing it as vi tu iwe vi tu iwe vi tu vi tu so this a will this a will soon become silent and you'll pronounce it as vi tu vai tu that means vai tu but you you can see it is actually more like english but you why to <laughs> so nyanko is more like english somewhere somehow then we have a as in when you pronounce the word rain so here we have the word called a is over yes a is over as you learn more you will be able to pronounce it as is over you will not pronounce the a but now the purpose is right as i pronounce it as a is over so that you'll be able <coughs> to write it <coughs> and it means the sun or it means day then we have o as in quite we have the word called kweto mboita kwe to mboita and that is to grumble when you practice more you will find that you will pronounce this word as kweto mboita <coughs> instead of o oh, you will be putting you will be pronouncing it like we kweto mbita kweto mbita kweto mbita that is after you have become a uh, advanced in the language and you can know how to pronounce very well and it means to grumble so we go to the consonants and we have 18 consonants of the alphabet though 21 consonant sounds exist in ronyankore the consonant sounds are as follows we have ba be 
B B B We have a word like a bar You see we have a bar ra which is called bar That is where we buy these alcoholic drinks Then we have another word like a bandera which is a b d r that is a flag <laughs> then we have a v himba this b we don't call it a b himba some people will pronounce it like that but it is called v v a a v he ba this is called beans then we have a takudi a v ta ku ri that means sweet potatoes a v ta ku ri then we have another word embogo a mbo go that means a buffalo i think you're getting me clear that these pronunciations are is a pretty easy so we have a we saw this one as a vowel then we have m we shall meet this ma we shall sit in front is pronounced as ma but when it has b o it is mbo go then we have a word called oburo which is o w ro that is called millet <laughs> millet because millet is a staple food for ankole you will not fail to find it as a common word and you have to know it very well and the application you can say ni nyenda oburo ni nyenda oburo we had seen that the nyenda means to want this ni means i so you can say i want milk you say ni nyenda oburo if you don't want the milk you say Tinkwenda oburo That word I don't is T Then kwenda means want Okay the whole thing is tinkwenda If you don't if you want to make the word tinkwenda I don't want because it is most commonly you'll find you say I don't want noise I don't want the milk so you use the word tinkwenda and this word ninyenda will all be be a common word because you have to express whether you want or you don't want because you in in life you either have yes or no do you want millet no yendoburo then you reply tinkwenda buro So we go to C which is our second letter and in Nyankore we pronounce it as cha like the way you write you pronounce the word church when we have cha che chi cho chu cha is seen in a word like empocha e mpo cha which is soya bean then we have we don't have words that have che they are very okay i didn't find it anywhere word with che you never know as time goes on you will find it out that there is a word with che but it's not there so we have another one chweka 
e c shwe ka and that is half so if you want to say a person gave you half he gave me half you say akante chweka so it's chori e chi cho ri that is maize if there are many it is evichori we shall see these how these nouns are converted from singular to plural and this thing is in the noun class of chi v we shall see it there are words that have h chori v chori and that's how they they convert to plural then we have a chupa a chupa that's a bottle so that is simple rinyankori and we got our next consonant which is d and that is it only occurs after n except in some words of foreign origin actually d always comes after n that is the truth except foreign words like edini but other words where d is used and we don't call it d i'm just speaking it as d for your purpose those of you who are english speakers but it is da de d do do i think you've got the pronunciation because i have this word and which is a and and you call it and that means a stomach we have another word a d n i a d n i and that means religion actually in angole i think they didn't have this word but it came after <laughs> that's why it is looking different from other words where d is used Then we have another word enyindo enyindo which is nose e ni ndo we have esa es esande <laughs> e sa nde that is a sunday that is week a sunday a sunday we pronounce it as a sunday because there is no double a if it was double a we would say a sunday a sunday but it is a, a sunday then we have another word a sunday and the we have a sha nde that is banana juice but in angkore the only juice we knew was for bananas only at now people have started squeezing juice from other fruits and that's why you will find them are calling a sha nde for other juices but it is typically banana juice then we have mpundu e mpundu this m mpundu mpundu that's a gorilla then we have another word mpindu e mpindu that's a needle you can see it here 
Normally women, girls, before they got married, after getting married, they were required to spend in the honeymoon to make baskets, weaving baskets. And they used to use this thing. And there's a proverb that this, what it makes, resembles it. Mpindu Nesha Echeruka. In that a child resembles the parent. Then we have a duka. A duka. That is a shop. Of course, once in a while, most of the items you will have to get them from the shop. So you ask people, a duka erinkahi. Where is the shop? That is in case you are stuck on the way and you want to know where that there is a, a shop to buy some items. And we go to our fourth one, which is fa fe fi fo fu. In English we have this letter as F, but in Nyankore it is mainly fa fa. And we have a word like okufa. Okufa means to die. O ku fa to die. Then we have a word called oburofa. When you add fa to oburo, you get that. You don't get nilet. I don't know how they made this word, but if you had fa to oburo, you get that. So this is o, wu, ro, fa, which is that. We have another word called echfera. This echfera means idiot or somebody who doesn't understand. So it is a, she, fe. Era. Or somebody who is stupid, you say or get fera. That is. Then we have a feza. A feza. A feza. Which is copper. Of course, you will find out copper. We use it for making. It was mainly mined in Chilembe mines. So, if they take you to Chirembe Mines in Uganda, it is a good tourist area in Kasese, you will see a feather. Then we have office, which is office. We don't have a word to mean office because in Ankole, there was typically no official work. <laughs> Everything was practical, go to the farm, dig, go to graze animals. There was nothing like staying in the office. So that's why we don't have that word in Rinyankori. We have, we just arranged the English word and got our word office. Then we have a safuria. A safuria. And that is Saucepan, application, enkozesa. We have reta esafuria. Reta, reta, reta esafuria. Bring the saucepan. <coughs> so we have our fifth letter as ga. But depending on the vowel that is following it, you pronounce it as ga, ge, gi, go, gu. So we have the word like enshonga. E, enshonga. Which is reason or problem. If you ask a person what is the reason, enshonga. Neha. What is the reason? We have another word 
omugati o mu ga ti which means bread we have a word omuhiji which is a hunter because hunting was mainly practiced in Angkore in those early days but now there is no longer vegetation for hunting no forest the forests have reduced so we have o mu hi ji then we have another word omujisha o mu ji sha which means blessing you will hear people being called mujisha or mujisha when with the blessing they know mujisha those are names you will hear in Ankore. So when you hear the Nomujisha, know that is a person with a blessing. So you can say, Nyine Omujisha, I have a blessing. Or you know Mujisha, you are blessed. Or you have a blessing. I am blessed. Ndi Omujisha. I think you have seen this word, Omujisha. Ndi Owomujisha, I'm blessed. Meaning if somebody says Owomujisha, that is the blessed one. So you can say, if you wish a person well, Ruhanga Akwe Omujisha. May God bless you. Ruhanga is God. Akwe is may. Then is may bless. Then Omujisha. No, no, no. Ruhanga akuhe omujisha. Ruhanga is God. Omujisha is blessed. Then may and you, they combined from the word akuhe. Then you reply that niwe akuhe omujisha. Bless you too. Most Things you find when they wish you something, you also reply with the word niwe, meaning let it be also as you have wished me. So we have another word called muhogo, muhogo, which means cassava. Cassava is important in Angkore because we add the cassava in millet, in millet flour, and then we make the millet bread, which is very sweet and tasty. Then we have another word, omgongo. O mu go ngo, which is the back. Then we have okuguru. O Ku guru and that means leg. So I hope now you have learned most of the words in Runyankole and we have learned the body parts. We learned a nindo. Then we have also seen omugongo. We have also seen okuguru on where we had e on our long vowels this e we would have put a riso oh no 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 should have been in a we have a word like a riso which is an i and now that is the end of our lesson for today we catch up on the next lesson we are still continuing with the alphabet and pronunciation of words in Rinyankore by me Mohos Dennis Nava Shemerewa Awor Kundo Yanyu Rukundo Egumeho May the love remain